Hello everyone. After uh, distance vector algorithm, let us look into Dijkstra's algorithm, which is uh, another algorithm for shortest path routing. So consider the similar node where we have uh, the cost uh, for uh, all the nodes from one another, and uh, consider the root node as A. So we have A, B, C, and D uh, along with E. So all the cost from the node A is mentioned here, and uh, we are going to create a LSDB that is link state database that is from A to B, C, D, E. What are the costs and the the rest of the costs are mentioned here. So similar arrangement what we had uh, seen in the distance vector algorithm is what we are going to see here. Except that instead of infinity, we are going to mention it as 999 because we need to. Uh, run it in the program. Infinity uh, included in the program is not possible, hence we uh, constitute a three digit higher value. So objective is obtain the least cost tree, shortest routing path. So let us understand a few steps which is related to um, Dijkstra's algorithm. So in the step one, add the root node to the least cost tree. So let us understand how to build the least cost tree. And uh, during the least cost tree, uh, we are having a uh, the root node here the root node is a uh, let us add the root node uh, a to the least cost 3 and compute the distance to every other node using the database all right so this is what the root node here is and uh, let us see what is the distance from root node to every other node and in case it is not directly connected i will put it as infinity that is 999 in this case so 0 5 2 and 3. So A to A is the distance that is root node to root node the distance is 0 hence it is mentioned as 0 rest of the cases are put as per the figure. Next in the second step select one node which is closest among all the nodes in the tree which is uh, very near and add this to the tree. In this case uh, consider the root node A so B, C and D are the neighbors and uh, out of these neighbors so we have uh, C which is very closest uh, which is mentioned in uh, red color here. So add that particular node to the tree. So this is the tree which is formed after you are adding the new number new neighbor that is C. The cost is 2 here. Again repeat the step uh, after uh, updating the cost to all other nodes which are not in the tree. So let us see how uh, we are going to update the values. So in the previous case we had 999. In this case we have 6. How the 6 happened is after C has been added you might come across a channel or you might come across a route which is via C. So from A to C to E this is the possible root. So 2 plus 4 is 6. That is what is going to replace the infinity. So this is what is updated. So rest of the cases are as it is. A to B is 5. A to D is 3. A to C is 2. And A to E is the newly formed root which is equal to 6. So repeat the steps um, 2 and 3 until all the nodes are added to the tree. So we are going to add the rest of the nodes. Uh, let us understand the next minimum value after 2 is 3. So we are going to add that particular node and in case uh, hypothetically D to E was connected and uh, let us assume that hypothetically the value was 1. So 3, 3 plus 1 4 that is from A to E via D would have been 4 and this value from 6 would have been 4 instead. In this case it is not so. So we will write as it is. So in the next we are going to add B that is with the cost of 5 and hence E is also added with the cost of 6. So there is no other better root uh, than 6. So from uh, if I am taking uh, the root node via B that is 5 plus 3 will be 8 rather than 6. So we are going to consider 6 as the shortest path. So 2 plus 4 is 6. So after adding all the other node, please uh, understand that you have to terminate the algorithm. This is the vector now. So this is what the vector looks like after uh, you are eliminating all the infinite values. So now you are connect connecting the root node to every other node in the tree. Let us look into the program. So uh, we are going to call a um, subroutine called as Dijkstra. N is the, is the cost, uh, it is the value which is uh, defining the root node. So V is what the uh, 
number of nodes added in the tree are uh, which is represented as count uh, the cost represent the cost matrix distance is the distance what we are going to have in the end case all right so if node 0 is present in the tree i will say visited of 0 is 1 as i mentioned visited means you have added to the tree so visited of 0 that is node 0 is added to the tree hence it is made 1 in case it is not been added to the tree i will make it as 0 so fine so let us look into what uh, what happens in the for loop so in case you are considering from 0 to 5 in this case so you are going to run this iteration 5 times uh visited of i is equal to 0 that means this particular node has not been added yet to the tree so after it has been added you can make it as 1 so distance of i that is that particular uh, the distance from the root node to that particular node is the cost from v to i that is from the root node to that particular node how much is the cost that is what is i am going to uh, update in distance of i so this distance of i is the distance between the root node v to the that particular node so we are going to do this for all the other cases so 0 1 2 3 4 5 um, so 0 1 2 3 4 that is till five cases so once that has been done visited of v is equal to 1 that means root node has been added to the tree and that is why visited of v is equal to 1 distance of v is equal to 0 because root node to root node is 0 distance is 0 now understand that once i have added uh, one node to a tree i will increase the count by 1 so in the beginning count was uh, equal to 0 and i am going to increase the count to 2 so now understand only one node has been added after this let us understand uh, i have run this particular loop until all the nodes have been added to the tree so uh, there are n nodes uh, so until the count becomes less than or equal to n so until all the nodes have been added to the tree i will i will keep on running this program so find the closest node which is not present in the tree add that particular node to the tree in case it is not there already added so this is what it says so let me explain for w is equal to 0 any loop variable less than n w plus plus if distance of w if distance of w is less than minimum so i have taken a minimum value as 999 if the distance is less than minimum and it is not there added previously into the tree if there is a minimum distance then that minimum distance i will take it as minimum value now so w is equal u equal to w that means i have added the closest node to the root node which is not present in the tree so this particular closest node will be my new closest node right so visited of u is equal to 1 because i have added that particular node or the closest node to the tree and that is the reason you visited of u is equal to 1 visited of closest node equal to 1 so after that increase the count for w is equal to 0 w less than n w plus plus uh, if distance of u plus cost of u to w uh, right now i am referring to the root node which is uh, considered here as a so a to c is uh, 2 here and c to d is 4 so from a to d if i have a value of 5 and it might be a possibility that i might have a Uh, better root via c so in this case from root node to a via node if it is less than this particular direct node and it has not been added in the tree in that case distance of w is equal to distance of uh, root node to the via node is added here so in this case it is not so so 5 is not less than 2 plus 4 so i will take the straighter root not the via root so in case any other possibilities are there where this if at all this is 2 so 5 is less than 2 plus 2 i would have taken this via node that is what is mentioned here and finally going to the main program n is the number of nodes and uh, uh, v is the root node um, cost matrix and distance matrix i and j are the loop variables so number of vertices are mentioned here uh, take the number of vertices enter the cost matrix if it is infinity enter as 999 for uh, uh, the 
nested variables i nested loop i and j you have uh, entered the cost mat matrix using the scanner function and uh, enter the source vertex that is the root node so in this case a so you are calling the dijkstra function which is already mentioned and uh, explained in the previous case so this is the dijkstra function so shortest path from all the other node is displayed here so using the for loop and uh, this condition tells that you are not supposed to display that root node to root node so wherever we are taking the root node from that to the that node itself i need not display it and finally i am going to print all the values uh, that is the shortest path values and i will end the function thank you okay.